all right okay so let's understand the design of a slab and i'll be comparing the same as it with e tabs all right in here i got a lot of uh, parameters for the design of slab just the thickness uh, the depth is given the color is given the length is given uh, uh, grade i got molars of elasticity poison ratio i don't want to care poison ratio cannot be zero so just ignore it and i can have dead load and light load right here all right getting the bending moment of the slab this one is uh, the weight in the length of the span of the slab is just four meter by eight so the total weight that comes to be factor of safety which is 1.5 into dead load plus light load as you can see self weight is not being considered right in here we know xq by the base on is for five six six points four six six it's totally based on um the grade of uh, steel i think it's and also the depth of the compression block can be given by m that is m e by bd square f5 ck just same thing which is shown in the design of beam if you want to know what and all are these property you can get into design of beam um, video so which is b you know what is b b is always one meter depth is uh, the depth of the slab and alpha and if c case right there and x u by d calculating x u by d is 0.171 which is always uh less than x u max by d so and area of tensile so which means that we don't want to provide any sort of compressive reinforcement is not required here so area of tensile steel is also given by the formula it is and the depth is there and the area is me by fy gamma into z which comes to be 483 so let's uh, try and plug all these variables in e tabs in here opening a new model here we know the span is four meter and the width of the slab is one meter all these things can be decreased right into two and we don't want to consider any story so let it stay there first thing i'll be defining a sort of concrete material here uh, which comes to be uh, 30 megapascal m30 with molars of elasticity given okay so let's get into here i'm gonna make a concrete material sorry india concrete it's m30 Let's stay as 25 and the molars of elasticity, elasticity is 25 triple zero okay poison ratio is let it be 0.2 and there's nothing other than um, okay there's nothing more given all right that's it for now then let's uh then i'm gonna hit ok then i'm gonna create hysd hysd is a rebar and come on rebar the grade is is questionable the grade is what the grade is 460 oh my god get into 500 and i can edit this thing it can be like ma minimum yield strength is 460 minimum tensile strength expected yield strength is 460 so let's change all the sort of things right in compression so the tensile strength is not given uh, not when i consider let let it convert right into 460 there is uh, no other data is given here there's only the value 460 is given they didn't talk about any of the uh, properties other than the grade let's change up the the same modulus of elasticity is the same to correct we don't want to change anything from here is it okay so let's make our slab get into slab sections i'll be modifying the slab concrete material and uh, the thickness of the slab it could be like 150 150 and it shall be always a shell thick slab let's say it's slab one now let's draw the slab 
using the draw thing um the slab one i can draw slab one and place it right here <laughs> oh man it's the wrong placement i'm writing story two get into story one and start to get into base and trying to fix it right there after fixing up just right clicking this lab will bring up some properties in here i like to add more meshing pattern right into this lab so floor meshing type is i like to pick up an auto cookie cut and i like to divide meshing i'm just only refining meshing patterns right into a single side of 250 millimeter and you know i want to add restraint i want to turn off the restraint options right here why am i doing this is normally if a slab is being considered the perimeter of the slab you'll be having a sort of beams here and all the connection from the beam to slab will be tied to itself so which means if the slab is bending a portion which is tied to the beam will stay right in its place as i'm drawing a one-way slab in this case the bending will be uh, something like this as the corners was restrained the corners won't bend the bending will be always happening right into the inside if i'm taking a cross section of it the bending will be something like this as here as a beam and here we got a beam so this portion won't be bending in the case of one way slab um, as i haven't modeled any sort of beams we got supports right here only this portion connected to supports all these nodes connected to support will be bending so the bending will be something like this this is the beam and this is the beam and the other direction is the view from this side and the view from this side is something like this so there is no sort of beam here so only the four nodes will retain the connection in order to convey this property uh, to e tabs i'll be using add restraint right into no that's it now let's apply some sort of load here let's select the asset I can get into uniform load. I think the dead load is five. Dead load is four and the live load is five. Dead load is four. And the live load is five. Sorry. Dead load is four. And the live load is five. <laughs> Oh, that's okay i don't want to consider the self-fade so i like to turn off the self-fade turn this right into zero okay then let's add a design strip right into this lab the design strip is very important as the uh, reinforcement will be shown right away from the design strip so in order to draw the design strip i like to turn off the snap option get into draw and snap option and i'll be picking up only the midpoints I can find it right here only the midpoints I'll be there and I'll be drawing up design strips right away from here picking up design strips and you know the width of the slab is one meter so I'll be turning this uh, so I'll be turning each and everything right into 500 millimeter alright okay then pick up the first point and pick up the second point and right click for exit alright okay so just getting to view set display options in the object in the other assignments I can have the width of the design strip it's right here so you can see that the width is entirely filled into this lab and also let me change some of the properties of the design strip right clicking the asset i can turn it right into the hysd bar there's nothing else we can do oh all right that's all now if i try to pick up the load combinations here i like to have the combinations it could be like you can see that the combination is given here it can be like 1.5 into the load plus high load Okay, add a new combination in combo 1, 1.5 into dead and 1.5 into alive. That's it. 
All right, okay. And then try to analyze the structure. All right, as you can see, the bending pattern looks something like this. The edges are not restrained right into the beam, which is a special case in this problem. And I wanna see the bending moment. I get into strip forces. Pick up the combination here. I can have a bending moment and I would like to show values right in here. So it could be something like 26 or 27. As you can see this number is 27 which comes to be correct. Alright next thing <coughs> I'll be having some sort of uh, I'll be allowed to change this support right into roller. Just get into assign. Uh, lock the model first. Assign and this restriction is only in the user direction. That's it. And for this, I don't want any sort of support here. Uh, well, assign. I don't want any sort of supports here so analyze this figure once again so the first thing I don't want to get into all these options first I'm gonna pick up the combinations which is combo 1 1.5 into dead and live next thing I can get into select storage for design as the slabs right there in the base I could pick up the base and finally let me start the design the number is 577 I got the value which comes to be approximately same 583.03 uh, which comes to be same as that of our uh, manual calculator results so I